what is it? Is it, a, is it a mindset? And is it a mindset that starts when our guys are this big? There's no question. I think there are some internal factors, external, but then also cultural factors as well. I mean, I know what pressures pushed me to persevere through pain. I have a titanium plate and four screws in my neck and continued to play with it. You played with it? I played with it three was years it, Was afterwards. it the money or, or, or is it something else? Because, you know, it is big money. Right. It's a great question. That's one of the factors. I think financial job security, right? I mean, there's always a younger, hungrier and potentially more athletic guy just waiting, chomping at the bit to take your spot. So you don't want to lose your job. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the main thing. Another thing I think is just your dream. You're living your dream. You don't want to give that up at all. And then the third thing I think is that toughness is, is like a badge of honor in sports. You want to be able to be tough mentally, physically, show that you'll well, do whatever like you can. Well, that's like me. I got this blister and I had a tennis match yeah, were, and I still played. Yeah, you were showing me. That's played. nasty, yeah, man. It was, it was tough. <laughs> all right, so now here's the, 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 where it really gets important, though. The, the professionals, there's this big lawsuit where all these former NFL mm -hmm. guys are going to the NFL, so it's, so it's on the agenda now. Mm -hmm. But parents are concerned because of our children, Absolutely. right? Do, do you think that this discussion that we're having, the reporting that you're doing, mm -hmm. do you think it's filtering down to where the people who are coaching our children are getting it and are teaching them the right way and making it yeah. safer? For our kids? Absolutely. I think this is the first step. Raising awareness about this issue is key. And, and we're moving in the right direction. I think the message that needs to come through all this to the parents, to the kids, to coaches, is to get the message across, look, you're going to get injured. But we have to have this mantra, it's okay not to play. If you don't feel right in the head, rest instead. If you don't feel complete, don't compete. That's the type of message we need to get across to the athletes That's going to take some, though. Time. That's going to take some at the Pee Wee football. Yeah. Uh, not, not just Pee Wee, but, you know, all of youth sports because mm -hmm. the grown-ups they want to win and sometimes they want to win more than the kids that's right it's that competitive culture but as you heard algie say in that piece you know it's scary when people are taking their own lives junior say out dave Dewerson, when eric legrand the, the college player who was paralyzed in, in the sport you know we don't want to change the game completely don't worry it's not going to become too in touch it's not going to become flag football i think we just need to make slight rules and modification changes that um that will take away the life-threatening and life-altering injuries.